<laughs> Ozzy Osbourne responds to reports that he and wife Sharon are splitting up and makes a big confession in the process. Hey everyone, I'm Brian Corsetti with ENTV on Yahoo. On Monday, reports began swirling that longtime rock couple Sharon and Ozzy Osbourne were headed for divorce. Ozzy denied the rumors in a Facebook post, although he did admit there has been tension between the two, as well as the rest of his family due to a recent relapse. He wrote, For the last year and a half, I have been drinking and taking drugs. I was in a very dark place and was an a to the people I love most, my family. But the 64-year-old Black Sabbath frontman insists he's, quote, trying to be a better person and revealed that he has been sober for 44 days. Ozzy has had a well-documented battle with drugs for most of his life, famously biting off the head of a bat while under the influence in the early 80s. But he credits his wife for helping survive it all, telling the UK's Daily Telegraph in 2009, if it weren't for her, without a shadow of a doubt, I would be dead. People have called them an unlikely pair, but Ozzy told the Telegraph, my lady's the greatest, I love her. For some reason, the shoe still fits, you know? Fans got more insight into their dynamic when they turned the cameras on their family for the MTV reality show The Osbournes in the early 2000s. I'm really the next Mother Teresa. Yeah, well, I tell you what, I'm Ozzy Osbourne's wife, now shut the f However, Ozzy later admitted that he was stoned for most of the show's three seasons. You and Kelly are from the same school. Stop it. Give me a kiss. Yeah. What? I don't want to do what you're doing. I don't want to do what you're doing. Stop it. I think you're f***ing me. Sharon has stood by his side throughout their 30-plus year marriage, but the former America's Got Talent judge has been mum about the recent reports so far. Her last tweet was on Saturday promoting Ozzy's new album with Black Sabbath. I'm Brian Corsetti. Keep watching ENTV on Yahoo for all your entertainment news first.